Kevin here from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. Uh, thanks for joining us again. Uh, this is the uh, the first video of 2023. Happy New Year. Uh, this video we are going to cover the uh, PACR MX soot level reset functionality. Uh, this is one of those commands that is highly sought after and not available in uh, typically not available in in other aftermarket tools. Uh, this is where where jaw test really shines is it, you know ability to do those advanced functionalities that are, are typically reserved for uh, the OEM tool. So uh, with uh, with jaw test, we will be able to go through and do that soot level reset command on the Packard product. Uh, so let's start by going through here to the manual uh, selection function inside the software. Uh, we'll go to individual manufacturer. Uh, we'll find Packard. You can see it's already up on my favorite. Brand brands list so click on pack r and here's all the pack r modules so you can see we've got transmissions we've got our, our body control modules our, our vehicle control unit um, we find that under modules we're probably going to find this under the engine side under mx so if i click on the mx here's a list of all the mx related modules so you can see we've got the the um the diesel engine controller, and then we've got separate after treatment uh, system controllers as well. And for the PACR MX, probably the soot level reset, well, likely uh, EAS 3 and 4. Uh, let's just go over to actions here and we'll type in the keyword soot. And what this is going to do for me, it's going to show me which modules have uh, a functionality with the word soot in it um, available and you can see here for the um, electronic after treatment uh, controller uh, three and four i've got that soot level reset functionality built in there so um, let me just back up here if i if i if i click on this it's going to connect me to the module take me right into that suit level reset uh, function it's found under maintenance so instead uh, let me just actually click here on the eas4 hit connect um, select my connection type again we're in a simulator as usual uh, just so that we can we can show you this um, so multiple connections available uh, let's see where we'll find it in here so the pack mx under maintenance and there you have it right there so we've got uh, filter regeneration with vehicle stop we've got particular filter replacement uh, clean or new uh, and then a soot level reset. So if we if we clean the DPF, put it back in. Here's the in, the reset for that uh, for that cleaned uh, DPF. So we just received it back from a cleaning. If we got a brand new DPF, we got to tell this uh, system that we've got a brand new DPF installed. Um, regeneration counter reset, particulate filter regen unlocking. Okay, so we can uh, reset that regen capability um, in the event that we had I don't know. Let's say the the DPF was plugged up completely. Um, D, D, uh, regens were disabled. Uh, this would allow us to unlock that regen capability to start the regen. Uh, and then here's your soot level reset. And this is, uh, this is the one that we were looking for here. So once I click soot level reset, it's going to take me in, um, give me a little bit of information about when you would do this, why you would do it, what the conditions need to be. Um, and then there you have it. It's going through reading the memory. It's going to do that reset. And again, this is a simulator, so not uh, overly realistic in terms of what we're seeing here. Um, and then uh, that is uh, that's a wrap. That's how we do that uh, reset. So pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Um, again, one of those impressive, one of those many impressive capabilities of the JAL test software. Um, if there is any other. Um, function that you are curious about, anything that you want to see, any capabilities that you're interested in, uh, please uh, shoot us an email um, or, or add to the comments below um, and uh, we'd be happy to go through and, and look at uh, those, those functionalities in the software for you and, and kind of walk you through how to, uh, how to access them. So again, uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.